before we start the video, I just want to say that this video is brought to you by a YouTube comment. If you have any other video ideas, make sure that you put them in the comment below. I might read them, and I might actually do them. And also, before we start the video, make sure to like, subscribe, turn on notifications, and like I said before, if you have any video ideas, put them down in the comment section below. Hey guys, welcome to On Fire Roblox Scripting, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make like a flashback thingy. Uh, this video was brought to you by this YouTube comment. So yeah, so basically the first thing you want to do is go into the view tab and open explorer and properties. Then you want to come over to the starter GUI, click the plus and enter a screen GUI. You can rename the screen GUI to whatever you want. I'm going to be calling mine flashback. And then you can click the plus again and then add in a frame. You can call this frame whatever you want. So I'm going to call mine flashback frame. So this is going to be the thing that we're going to be flashbacking with. And then set the anchor point to 0 0.5 comma 0 0.5. Set the size to 1 comma 0 comma 1 comma 0. So it should fit the whole screen. But in the real game, it'll have a little bit left over. So I guess you could do like 0.2. Oh, no, not on that one. The, the other one. So on the second one, you can add like a point two, and try to bring it a little bit up. And just like that, now it should fit the entire screen. Then under the flashback frame, click the plus and add in a local script. You can call this local script whatever you want. I'm just gonna call mine flashback, and then you can write what I write. So, wait, I'm gonna write like 10 seconds so it gives me time to load into the game. And then, for i equals to 1, 10 do. So, this is a for loop. So, script, uh, script dot parent dot background transparency. So, this one equals to script. Script dot parent dot background transparency minus 0 0.1. So this number has to correspond with this number so that, like, when you multiply it, it should equal to like the front number being 1. So over here is 10, and then 10 times 0 0.1 equals to 1. So, say if I want to do 20. And this number would be 0, 05. But I'm gonna keep mine 10 and 1. So just like that. And then what right weight. And then the lower the number it is, the faster it is. So I'm gonna make mine 0 0.1. So it's gonna take one second for the flashback. Then under here you can write wait three seconds, give it some time. And then during these three seconds, you can do whatever you want for the flashback. And then copy all of this, paste it here. And then instead of a minus, write a plus. And then go to the flashback frame, make the background transparency one. Then now we can test it out. So I just load it in, I'm gonna wait like a little bit. Shouldn't take too long. And there you go, it goes like all white, and then after three seconds, it goes back. So obviously, if you want to make it even quicker than that, you can just, you can change this number, you can change this number, you can change this number, you can change like basically any number you see here, and it'll be quicker or longer. So say if I change this to that, and then go like five, and then since it's 
five, got to do two. I'm gonna do the same thing for this. And I'm gonna make this thing five. So now it should be even quicker than before. So let's go test it out. Okay, so I just loaded in again. And I'm just gonna wait for the flashback to start. As you can see, it is noticeably faster than before. So yeah, that's gonna be it for this tutorial. If you liked it, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.